What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We're going to do Ace today from One Piece. Haven't done Ace in a while. I think I've done one Ace drawing before. This is just like a different pose. We can see some of his back tattoo and like the side of his face. So I thought it was kind of cool. Bit of fire in the background. So let us go. I'm on landscape paper, right? So my page size is roughly, it's A2, right? So People, a lot of people have been asking recently. A2 is what I use. I only do it big because I use a Sharpie and it puts down a big line. You can do it smaller. The landscape orientation is what I normally do, okay? So A3 works, A4. If you have a sharp pencil or like a like a really sharp marker, something like that, I just do it big for the camera. So let's go. We're gonna start with his nose, right? So his head is kind of like off to the side here. Okay, so we're not like in the center, right? So the horizontal halfway is about here, horizontal vertical here. So we go over and we go down. And we'll do his nose. I think. Yeah, so we got this like, like a letter L, right? So it kind of like curves out like so first. And then we bring it back in and around. So we go back in so it's like it's like a letter L so it always reminds me of or an upside down seven right you might have a nostril line somewhere here like low down on this but we'll put it we'll put it here I wouldn't have put it there that's the way it is in the picture I would put it like higher up but hey it's the style of one piece what can I say Right, so that's his nose. And then up here we got his brow. So it kind of like comes out like so. So it's kind of like a Z then. Okay, and then his forehead will go up underneath his hat. Right, so you don't kind of disappears up under there. So what we'll do is we'll draw a little bit of that hat line. We won't do the whole lot. We'll just enough to get us started, right? We'll just curve it. And sketch this now, I would recommend sketching this with a pencil because getting curved lines and things like this correct is hard. So we'll just go this way, right? And I'll try and clean it up. It's a start, right? Like so. So if we know where his brow is, we know where his eyebrow is. So we, it kind of is a black tick or check mark as you say in the States. and I suppose other parts of the world that don't say tick. Um, and he's got like a frown line here. So his eye is just underneath his eyebrow. So we got kind of like a straight line that goes this way. Right, and then hooks down the back. Just there. And then there may be like a little line that sticks out the front. Let's say diagonal, just going that way. And then his bottom eyelid line comes down underneath there. And his iris, it's just black, it looks like in the picture I'm drawing from. I think it can be gray, but we'll do it black and we'll leave a little highlight there and then he's got like a nose line or something there and another line like so so we go down and finish the profile of his face so his top lip comes out from his nose so we'll go like out this way down like so sticks out here and in So his bottom lip comes down like that. And then goes in like so. It's a very particular kind of shape now and you want the top lip to be smaller than the bottom lip. And then this will go across for his mouth like so. So now it looks like he's got a closed mouth. You can keep it closed if you want. Um, kind of optional. But we will open it up and give him a sort of a smile, right? Coming around like this. Maybe 
maybe some teeth. Can we give him some teeth? Yeah, there's no teeth in the picture, but I do like adding a little bit of teeth sometimes. All right, so then chin down this way and around like that. And then this will go up for his jaw. So about there, just across from his mouth, and then we go up around for the angle. He also has like freckles, so. Right, so just here we can see his ear. So it comes around like so. Back down, goes underneath um, a string for his hat, but we'll draw it all in anyway. We can erase it afterwards. So just this kind of oval shape. And inside we got bones and ligaments for his ears. Easiest way to start, I think, is this letter J shape to get you started. And then you can add more to it if you want. I've seen some cartoons and animes that just do the J shape, but it's up to you. So we go up now and finish his hat. So this curve line goes real long, right? So we're going, like you can mark even, we're going up to, let's say here, and then this will go out to the front. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Go there, right? So crazy big, okay? So we'll bring this back first. Right. And this will curve around here. Right. And so we just keep going. Right. Baby steps, take your time. Okay, not bad. <laughs> it's always hard doing curvy things like that. And then this comes around. Like so. Got some hair in underneath here. Um, just on his face, kind of. So, like spiking sort of things here. Just maybe a sidebar or something there. More hair coming down here. But we'll finish his hat first. Just me changing Sharpies. I have so many different Sharpies. Okay, so. Jewels that come across here. There's like a line of them. And then he has the, the silver things on the front. So we'll bring this. We'll bring this up there and then these circles so let's see we'll do what to do first okay there's a rim on the edge of his hat I'm like avoiding doing those circles because they're gonna be challenging okay just the rim Right, we'll just do, we'll get the major shape for his hat in. Right? So we'll just go up this way. And then go up this way. I'm leaving a gap here because there is those jewels. Right, so up that way. And then this goes in to there. And then this will go around that way. And then there's like a line in here. And all those circles. So the things at the front. We'll do the things at the front first. So we've got like this kind of oval E shape. Let me do one. So it's here. So it's turned away from us, right? So it's real skinny. Here at first. And then there's a a red jewel here. And then an oval, another oval here. 
need to and like that right so i went over that line so i'll just erase that and then try and sort of tidy this up a little bit Okay, so more lines on the inside here. So we've got like this sad face circle, like an oval in here. And then another one goes around there. And then this sad face. So we go down and it's got teeth. So down that way and then teeth going like so. And then sad eyes. There and then like that, and then we just gotta add some edge lines on this one. There. And like you can see some of the other face here, it's the happy face one, but you can only kind of see an eye maybe and some of the mouth. Not much. So then all those beads, those red beads, right, that come across here. So circles. We'll do our best. All along here and eventually eventually at the back they get kind of skinnier like they start to turn around the back of his hat so they kind of start disappearing in behind one another so a bit of perspective in this one behind now here maybe a little more work there like that right so that's his hat we'll go and do the rest of his hair so coming out from behind his ear hair spikes here like so coming down his neck and he has more circular beads on his neck as well. And we'll deal with those when we get down there. And these hair spikes then go all the way up underneath his hat. Like so. Uh, Right, so then his we'll do we'll do his neck. So his neck comes down from to here. And this will go like there's beads and stuff, but we'll get his anatomy in first. Neck muscles like here, the back of his neck, then out from his hair approximately there somewhere. And then goes down this way. So, and then his shoulder will be here. So his back is turned to us, right? So we can see like the back of his shoulder, this like neck muscle here. And then the shoulder comes down. Like so. To there, right? We'll do the rest of his back, just get that in so it comes down this way, a little bit of a gap, and then this comes down to there because his tricep will go off this way. Pointy 
elbow sort of here and back in there. And then we've got bicep line there. And then forearm kind of goes in behind his back down that way. Front of his bicep there. And then the back of his shoulder and his armpit and stuff is like here. So we got like just some hatching lines and things there. Line for his spine. So the start of his spine, like here, comes down over that sort of tattoo. And go down this way. And then like some more sort of lines like to show just some muscle. Here, maybe here, there. Right, so tattoos. So he's got the white beard tattoo just here. A bone on top, and it follows the curvature of his spine, right? So it's the main thing to remember. And the head. Down like so. Down there. And we got the white beard then just carving up like that and nose in there. It's like a white beard skull. The eyes come around like so. Another one here then his face goes down this way and then around underneath there for teeth and some teeth lines like that and then bones go around here and then bones stick out on the side so he has ace kind of written here and it's done in sort of block lettering right so i'll just do this the best I can get. so we got like the bottom of right the a we'll go this way okay. and then we go kind of across the top here And then it goes down that way. And I'll just thicken this. This line has to be thicker a bit. And then the bottom comes across like so. There. And then this comes across here. All right. And then an S. This is trickier now. So up and around here, down, and then it goes in. I'm kind of using like the side of my marker now because it's thicker. And then this comes off this way. Down that way, you can see like it comes back up. So here it goes. I can't fit it all on in my image. But if you type into Google, you know if you want to see what it looks like, it has. <laughs> it's funny because there's like whoever was tattooing it spelled his name wrong. And put an S instead of a C for Ace, a Ace, and they X'd out the S. So you have this X going through here, and then here as well. It's kind of funny. And then, so the beads 
on his neck, right? So again, we'll just we'll kind of start here at the throat kind of area, right? And they go any lines you go over, you can just erase them or color over them. You know, you should be using a pencil, so use a pencil at first anyway. And you can ink on top of your pencil. And they kind of go around his shoulder this way. And then some more kind of go around here. Like so. Right. So. Okay, so he has this cord that attaches to a, like a old skull medallion at the front right so we'll draw the medallion then attach the, the medallion and we'll attach the cord up to it so again it's like this oval kind of shape like these because it's turned away from us so it's not like a perfect circle so we go You can finish that, but the, the, the skull is kind of in, in here. So I'll just kind of stop it there. And then I'll draw this skull in, right? So it goes around to the top there. And then this kind of horn comes out. Down here and back up. into the side of the head and it's got an edge on it there and there's another edge line here right and then bottom of the face like that and then some more sort of bones bumping off here and then teeth on the bottom like so And then an eye on the other side to here. And then we'll just add some teeth lines there. And then these black eyes. And a nose, just a little triangle. Got a skull nose. So, like an eyebrow sort of thing going on here, like that. And yeah, that comes up that way. There's an edge there, and then this comes around for the edge here. And then there's like um, a tassel or something that comes off this way. And it's got like these little bumps and levels to it. Again, these sorts of details are always optional, you don't. You can make it your own way, you know, if you want to do your own sort of style character. And there's like some. Right. So. The cord then comes out from, say. Yes, yeah, so we'll go. We'll just go from here, I'm like back underneath his nose. there's two of these up to there and another one uh sickening that's out today yes. depending on when this comes out sorry about that <laughs> hopefully i'll edit that out um uh, and then this cord where did this go this will have to go up behind his ear right so we'll go over a good few lines here now and then boom I 
okay and then any lines you go over you can erase but now what i'll do is flame on so lots of fire okay kind of coming around his head and his body and stuff so You can always have some escape flame going that way. Like so, and maybe some go up around his head. We might as well. sticking up here and then some more just coming out around his body this way that flame there Some random flame just up here. That kind of looks like a love heart. Right. But I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Ace from One Piece. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.